part of the Rock Fishing Safety Awareness Campaign, which has come as a result of a number of drowning deaths around Victorian coastline in the past 15 years. So this workshop today is educating Vietnamese uh, rock fishers on safety behaviours around the rock so that they can enjoy the rocks uh, and fish safely. Rock fishing is an extremely popular activity here in Victoria and that's why we have this terrific project underway, all about educating fishers how to fish safely, how to follow some simple tips that really make sure you have a safe and enjoyable fishing trip when you head out. But these events are, are terrific, they get the community involved, uh, it, it's a really terrific way to educate fishers about the importance of rock fishing safety and just some simple tips that fishers can follow to make sure that it's a safe experience. Education around rock fishing is really important because it'll save lives in the end and it's also making sure that it's a family fun activity and in a sustainable, safe way. We found that in almost all cases, rock fishers that we've observed have not been wearing a life jacket on the rocks. The coroner's recommended that life jackets are worn and has said that in all cases, these people might have survived had they been wearing a life jacket at the time. I love my fishing. I've been fishing for way over 30 years and uh, I do all types of fishing from river fishing, surf fishing to rock fishing. I have a passion for it all. I'm here trying to educate the community uh, in regards to safety precautions that they can take to enjoy their fishing. Since 2000 there have been a number of rock fishing drowning fatalities and in all cases the person has not been wearing a life jacket. Make sure that you're with someone, um, so you know safety in numbers and making sure that you're wearing a life jacket as well. So if you do get washed off the rocks you have a higher chance of surviving that incident doing a risk assessment of the area that you're going to. So before you go down on the rock ledge, sit back for 20 minutes, half an hour, and have a, have a look at the wave motion. You need to know whether the tide's coming in. You need to know what the wave swells are like. Be able to have a good close look at the rock ledge, see what the waves are doing, and uh, of course never turn your back on the water. It's pretty quiet at the moment. Waiting for the big fish to come in. If you're not capable due to the weather conditions of fishing in one area, there'll be some, somewhere else. You can always come back the next day and go fishing. Do you want to take that risk? You want to be there the next day, you want to be here 20 years time. 